tonight is a pretty big deal at Dover Downs. The illustrious matron stakes are in town, baby. So let's see which sensational three-year-olds made the final. First, let's see who won the matron elim for three-year-old Billy Trotters. It was Ma Sheree Hall with Dover Downs defending driving champ Corey Callahan in the bike. The Jonas Zernison trainee cut out the fractions for the 154 Triumph. Next up, it's the sophomore Cole Trotters in their elimination, and we saw Smile and Eli in a right down the highway on the front 153 and one effort. Tim Tietrich, the country's leading money-winning driver for the past five years, was in the sulky for trainer David Smith. We love you too, Timmy. <laughs> On to those racy three-year-old Philly Pacers. And in the first matron a limb, it was Jersey Licious, winning in 152 and 1. She may have a Jersey name, but she is first state trained and owned. The speedy sophomore is conditioned by Wayne Givens and owned by Legacy Racing of Delaware from Seaford and Pam Curran from Milford. Who is that yelling daddy? Oh. <laughs> well, oh my god. Well, I mean, is there anything wrong with that? If I could wear PJs and cowboy boots to the races, I would. <laughs> I know she had a really good payoff. I wasn't surprised. She looked like a winner from just the program page to me, but I could be biased. I could be a little prejudiced because right. I know she's stabled here in Delaware, you know? Right, yeah, I mean, um, we missed a couple of the killers, you know, I mean, she's been going against Kayla J for all year, and, and uh, we missed she be stinging, so, you know, we ended up in a good group. We're sure we're going to have to race against them next week, but, you know, I'm sure she'll be up to the task. But she raced super. She I mean, when super. you when you pulled a long time. when you pulled her and her neck went out like that, I was like, oh, that girl, she's she's getting it. She was getting it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? We should have just. I, you could have interviewed me, and then I could have been you and just explained the race. Perfect. <laughs> we'll From do now that on, next you'll time. Be my voice. <laughs> In the second matron elimination for three-year-old lady side wheelers. She be stinging, scored in 151 and two. It was an easy three length win for this heavy favorite. Just two starts back, She be stinging became the fastest female harness horse in history when she scored a 147 win in Lexington. In the bike was David Miller, who by the way, will be inducted into the Hall of Fame this summer. The trainer of this talented filly is First State native and University of Delaware graduate, Joe Holloway. And as much as she loves to win, she's not crazy about the winner circle. Check out this picture from Tioga Downs when she jumped right up in the air. This gal is not standing still. So after her victory on the Dover Downs Oval, I was told she's not patient at all. That about two seconds. Get it. Get it. So it was a super quick, barely even stand for a millisecond visit to the winner circle. If the paparazzi wants this Diva's pick, they'll have to work for it. And finally, it's the matron alum for three year old Colt Pacers. This is a full field of 11, and the first eight finishers return for the final. They're off, there goes Twilight Bonfire off the lead up the inside, Emeritus Maximus. Farther out, that's Sunshine Beach, up the inside comes Ronnie Bugatti. That's Swift as a Shadow, back to fifth, racing in sixth, is DD's Dragon. Then it's Vegas Vacation, followed by Dr. Butch. After that comes Rock and Roll Will Never Die, Only the Lonely, and Clint 
Westwood is the trailer. Opening quarter was 27 seconds. They make the way by the stands and from the outside. That's Sunshine Beach up to get the lead. Emeritus Maximus back to second, another two, two and a half. That's Twilight Bonfire, followed by Ronnie Bugatti. Swift as a Shadow is next. Then comes Dee Dee's Dragon. Vegas Vacation is there. After that is Dr. Butch. Clint Westwood to the outside. Toward the inside, Rock and Roll Will Never Die. And the trailer is only the Lonely in 55 seconds around the turn toward the back stretch. Sunshine Beach, a two-lane leader. Emeritus Maximus there, second, followed by Twilight Bonfire. Up on the outside in the fourth is DD's Dragon down along the inside. Ronnie Bugatti alongside Vegas Vacation. Following Vegas Vacation is Dr. Butch. Down toward the inside, that's Swift as a Shadow. Up stride went Clint Westwood. Getting off the rail now is Rock and Roll Will Never Die and Only the Lonely. Three quarters, 123 and one. Around the final turn, Sunshine Beach has a two and a half length lead. Emeritus Maximus is there. Outside but not gaining is DD's Dragon forced wide. That's Vegas Vacation the right at the top of the stretch, turning for home. And Sunshine Beach. Sunshine Beach is there by two and a half or three nearing the wire. Sunshine Beach, Emeritus Maximus, followed by Twilight Bonfire and Vegas Vacation, 150 and 150. Sunshine Beach with John Campbell driving won his over $53,000 elimination in a sizzling 150 and one. Mark Stacy trains the three-year-old superstar who went to post with the most support on the tote board. Sunshine Beach will most likely be the better's choice again in tonight's Rich Matron Final at Dover Downs. Emeritus Maximus took second and Twilight Bonfire was third.